Okay everybody, the Reese here, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay. God, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Which is basically like every session. Uh... Ah! Clever. You sneaky thing, you. Got down chests in the bloody water. <laughs> there are so many. Oh, I can do that. Very good. Woohoo! Oh man, stuck the landing. Was not expecting that to work. And actually, um, off screen, I haven't really played the game all that much. But I was mostly testing out the Save Me mod for just, you know, occasions where I might want to um, restore one of my saves. Because after every session, what I do is I back up my save. Just in case, because, you know. Breath of the Wild doesn't allow you to have multiple manual sla save slots. Which I mean, I think I understand why. It's so you can't like save scum certain things, but still it would have been nice to have that as an option, but yeah, whatever. When mods exist, or homebrew exists, it doesn't really matter. But no, I was just testing that out and like seeing how it worked and everything. Oh dear. And it actually works a lot simpler than I first thought it would. Oh no! Owned! <laughs> Very nice. Right, so this is... Yet another Magnesis puzzle. Right, this one's fairly straight forward. He says, then won't be able to figure it out. I was about to say, is that not it? <laughs> Seriously? Hey cool doggy! How's it going? Right, so which one was that? Was it this one? Yes, it was. Very good. Right, so there's another one of these nearby. Is it really this one? <laughs> yep. Oh, that's good, I'm glad. You found me! Right, so my plan currently... Well... I don't really have much of a plan, but what I do want to have done by the end of the session is to have the phantom armor and have dealt with the luminous stone talus that kicked my ass in the previous session. Whether or not I can do that, um, I have to wait and see. I mean, I could beat the stone talus without the phantom armor, but the phantom armor would just be nice. Will that work? <gasps> oh my god, it did. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that is just so fun. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, he died. <laughs> How? Spiked Boko Shield. Oh, man. Actually not. Don't I have a bunch of those? I mean, I could get rid of the emblazoned one. It's re it looks really nice, though. But the Spiked Boko Shields are just better. By the way. No, like, one thing I did off-screen was I actually tried to fight the Stone Talus, and Stone Taluses are actually fairly simple to, um, fight. Which I didn't realise. <laughs> All you really need to do is use the bombs and blow up its arms, and then it's defenceless. So, I mean, that was a cool thing to find out. Well, more so, figure out. But I just decided, like, you know, that it's made of rock, so bomb just seemed like a good idea. I didn't realise it was actually going to blow off its arms, and then it's just completely wide open. Hey Link Skywalker, how's it going? I can hit- ah, uh, is this one of those targets? Target stumps? I mean, kinda. Alright. Bloody hell. One. No, you dick. That works. Are you gonna come back? And... Uh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. So there's another. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Very good. Now I'm up to 45. I thought, you're, I thought I'd gotten to 45 last session, but I hadn't. I keep forgetting, I don't need to fight these. <laughs> 
Yeah, because it's Majora's Mask, we're just like best friends. I always forget. Oh dear, that could have been terrible. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't take my eyes off the game. No, because it could just lead to my death. Hmm. Right, I should probably go and get the Sheikah Tower as well. Get out of here. Is that a goat? Did I hear a goat? Oh yeah. I'm certain I heard a goat. Mm, oh, I did. Oh! It was a crit too. Not too shabby. Oh. Cr Ooh. I can't remember what these are called. Night Blossom? Nightshade. I think Night Blossom's from We Happy Few, actually. Okay. Oh, I thought that was going to be something. Don't know why. I'm just like, oh yeah, leaves. <laughs> of course. Oh, what is that? Is that another nightshade? No, that's a mushroom. Silence room. Strange mushroom that glows softly in the forest at night. Cooking it into a dish unlocks the nutrients in its camp, resulting in a meal that will allow you to move stealthily. Of course. That's usually the way it always is. Actually, I should have done this. Yeah! Oh, I see what I missed. Yeah, it's one of these again. What the hell? Oh. Oh, my. Okay, I don't want to get crushed by a bloody boulder. I was about to say, is that going to appear in front of me or behind me? Damn it. <laughs> I always end up using up all my stamina. I never mean to. I just always try and get it as close to empty as possible. But never actually empty it. Is that it? Very good. Yeah. Yet another Korok seed. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember these ones. No, when there's like a... not a structure. It's when there's like a line of trees. I think they'll all have fruit in specific places. Or like two of them will have them in the exact same places. And then there's one that's the odd one out, and you have to remove the fruit. Essentially. Oh, an acorn. So... Yeah, I have to remove everything but... Everything but that one. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Although I don't trust myself with, um... These last two. I might just have to shoot the last one down. Although, if I just jump from here, it should work. Let's see. No. <laughs> Didn't want to fall out the tree, though. Let me try again. There we go. Perfect. Those ones are like... They're not exactly tricky if you just use the bow. But if you try and not use the bow, they can be pretty tricky. Right, down here I know is where... There's another stone talus. It's also where there's the... the dark armor. Like, rumor. Yeah, I might as well try it. I don't want to fight the stone talus, though. If I could just avoid that, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! I smashed it on something. What could I use? Boomerang! Yeah, it works. <laughs> just bat them away. Wait, so is there a chest underneath this? Oh yeah, there is. I can see it. Um... I usually just try and use the bombs. So I don't want to waste a weapon and st uh, with stasis. That ain't gonna move it. <laughs> uh, I guess I don't have a choice. Fine. Oh god, I don't want to push it that way. That works. That should be fine. Please. Yeah, that doesn't move it nearly as far as it seems it would. But I also don't want to waste loads of durability just to move something. Purple Ruby. Perfect. Oh, I'm nearly into 300. Uh, it's not doing too badly. Oh, it's the Day of Village Ruins. So that's... Ah. Wow, this is actually quite close to... The Outpost Ruins. A lot closer than I thought. <laughs> oh well. 
Was this book always here? So, I hid the six priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests, which are right down their locations. Misko. The Travelling Merchant's Hood is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Dracozu Lake. The blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and travelled the ocean is where the Menowet River was born. The helm of the self-proclaimed King of Shadows is in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees, south of Dueling Peaks. The evil spirit's armour set in... Uh, armour set is hidden within Faron's Sea of Trees. Find these pieces at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria, at the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River, and at the broken stone bird of Ebera Forest. X2 is all that's written on the last page. What could it mean? Thanks for the follow, little jump man. Appreciate it. Alright, so that's unlocked a bunch more stuff. Not too shabby. For some reason, I, only, I just thought it was only the dark armor, but no, of course. It's a diary that contains the location of a lot of stuff. So, just cross all of these off. Boom! Alright, cool. Amber! Ooh. What is this? Tree branch. Yeah, just what I want. Alright, so I'm trying to think where the stone talus is. I don't really want to activate him. What's I'm missing? Okay, I thought they might have hidden one, like, underground. Mm-hmm. Right, Stone Talus, I think, is... I don't know, actually. I know it's one of these stone structures. I keep calling them structures. But one of these stone things. Alright. Honestly, I think... When I first played this, I must have just seen this and assumed it was, like, all underwater. So I never bothered. So... Oh! They're sneaky river snails. I actually thought that was a Karog seed. Oh! A hot-footed frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Look at where monster parts are drawn its speed boost effect. And there's another one. Oh, a bird! Give me that bird. I don't know why I'm going out of my way to kill birds, just to get drumsticks. Another bloody frog. Damn, there are a lot of them. Are those... Is that a Kara? I mean, they look like fairy lights. I'm assuming that's a Kara. Yeah, that's a Kara. Me, a little shit. We got him. Very nice. What the hell is this? Hmm. Can't be anything important. I mean, no, in my luck, it probably is. <laughs> oh, an iron room. I not really what the glowing thing was. Oh, sparkling thing was. This is going to be another one of those where I have to follow a flower. They seem to be within, like, all of the hollow trees. Oh. oh boy. I don't really trust this. Not particularly. Unless... Hang on. Hey, Jet. How's it going? I mean, I'm mostly curious if... Oh, great. Is there a flower in there? Yeah, there is. Oh. Well, what do you know? I'm just cutting the grass. Alright, perfect. Bum bum. So what the bloody hell? Okay. So that one I have to follow a flower. Again. What about this? Oh, is this another one of those like iron chain ball things? Yeah, look around. And it is. No, the frog! Come here, you little bitch. Yes! I don't know why I'm so obsessed with getting the frogs. Ah, it should be... Never mind. I was about to say that should be fine. How wrong I was. There we go. Yeah. 
So how many? I'm up to 49. God, that's all I've really been doing. It's actually quite funny. I, I mentioned to a friend that I've, I've gotten like 40 odd Korok seeds. I was saying not much time, but I suppose it's been quite a bit of time. And he was like, are you actually just, just going for the Korok seeds? I'm like, well, not intentionally, but yes. I can't help it, they're just so... Oh no, there's something about them. Okay, so that's gone. I'm assuming into the... The other hollowed out log. Oh god. Hey, Samtastic. How's it going? Uh, I should be careful. Yeah! Oh, there it is. What a douchey place to... Spawn. Oh yeah, I don't know why I tried to interact with it. Worked. Where on earth? These things are literally just appearing everywhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Hmm. There's another. Yeah, 50. Oh, boy. I can't help it. I just, I don't know what it is about the Korok seeds, but they're just too fun to, grip, to get. I think it's just the fact that they're such small tasks that makes them just rather fun. Oh man, I was not expecting that to actually hit him. What the hell is this? Wooden bow. I mean, I, I have a feeling it's not as good. Have I got the sword? I've, I'm literally six hours into the game. Uh, I could get rid of this. That's not a bow. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not getting rid of anything for that. Boko shield. Any more sneaky snails? Oh no, that one's, like, full. But I think the Koroks are the Kokiri. I mean, they are known as the Children of the Forests, which is what the Kokiri were. Or what the Kokiri are. So I think that's what they are. They've just had a dramatic um, redesign. No, I don't see anything. I keep seeing shiny things. I'm like, ooh! This place really has seen better days. I mean, look at it. What a mess. Hmm. Uh, the only downside to having the map is I can just see that there's so many things and I just always want to just keep going from point to point getting all the stuff. <laughs> it makes it far too addicting. Is this another one of those ball and chain ones? Oh my god it is. Wow alright. The first one of these I tried to do. Wow. I got super hooked. I can turn off the minimap. I mean, that's assuming that I'd want to. But I don't. <laughs> can we just fall in, please? Ooh. There you go. Sheesh. I mean, when I mentioned a map, I meant the interactive map. My opinion, their descendants are ancestors. I don't really know where this game fits on the timeline, so... Ancestors. Actually, the Zelda timeline is a confusing thing. Because it branches off into three separate timelines, depending on what happened at the end of, uh... Was it Ocarina of Time? Or was it linked to the past? And they've got, like, the, the hero defeated... I don't remember. I've tried to read the timeline and it's just a confusing mess. For me. But I'd say they are... Oh, the Koroks are supposed to be the Kokiri. I'm trying to think what else there was that had a like dramatic change. Is it the... I can't remember if it was the... Was it the Zora that became the Ruto? Again, more confusing things. 
I can't quite remember. What on earth is this? Are they blocking a bloody... You suck. They are blocking a chest. Well, bomb time. Oops. So it doesn't even fit in the timeline. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I mean, either way, they're using... They've got the Koroks from... Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Yeah, I know, the Zora, I know the Zoras are still around. I'm just saying the Zoras turned into the Ruto when it came to Wind Waker. There's like, I don't know, something about them like adapting or something. Uh, how could I do this? Majora's Mask makes it so that 90% of enemies don't want to fight you. Yay! There's one. Actually, I should have able to scum this. Yeah, perfect. I did that for 10 arrows. Uh, are you serious? Get off this. Majora's Mask is uh, very useful. Especially when it comes to getting some of the DLC armor. Specifically, the Phantom Set, which is what I want to get. Because... The Phantom Set is, uh, really powerful, but really hard to get if you don't have Majora's Mask. Mostly because you have to come into contact with a Lionel, who won't attack you if you have Majora's Mask. Well, I don't know, I've had weird experiences with Majora's Mask. Actually, from what, from my experience, they don't attack you unless you do, unless you use one of your runes. Because one thing I ended up doing was, I I don't know if it was actually what caused it, but I pulled that out and did that, and then it, it became hostile, and I was like, oh. And I just thought that Majora's Mask, had, Majora's Mask had stopped working or something. Oops. But either way, Majora's Mask is uh, very, very useful. In uh, my opinion... I mean, I've had the mask on and I've been within, like, touching distance of a Lionel, and it's not attacked me, so I would have to say that's not true. <laughs> Either that or I just got really lucky. I was about to say, where'd the bow go? <laughs> nice. But once I've got the, f the phantoms there, I should be alright in terms of getting attacked. But I guess we'll see. Another wooden bow. Nothing in there. Another... God, they really like to put these bloody ball and chains around, don't they? Whoops. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that's happened with the Lionels with me has been the same as, like, the Bokoblins, where they get the question mark above their head and they wander over to you. But that's it. I've never actually had the Lionel become aggressive. So, maybe I just got really lucky. I keep forgetting I can push rocks. Whoops. <laughs> I just keep thinking that I'm too weak to be able to do it. Ah, okay, it takes place at the end of the timeline. That's fair enough. I mean, I have no idea. As I said, the, the timeline's a confusing mess. For me, personally. Oh, birdies. I mean, I wasn't expecting to get sidetracked by uh, the Day of Village Ruins, but... You know, it happens. <laughs> also, I think 90% of my playthrough on this game has been in rain. The game just loves rain. <laughs> Absolutely it does it. Whoop. Although I do hate rain, because it makes you slip when you're trying to climb. I'm still in the village ruins. But... 
Well, technically that would be using a rune, wouldn't it? Because what I said before was the only time it became hostile was when I used a rune. And I don't mean like pulling out a bomb. I literally just I activated magnesis or stasis. And then it became hostile. So maybe that was what caused it? I'm not entirely sure. More hollowed out trees. Man. Ridiculous. I do kind of want to just explore around. Is there anything in this? Whoa. You got 14,000 rupees. Damn. Wait, I'm back here? How? Wait, I made it all the way back here. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. What is over there then? I know it looked like it was actually something, but it appears it isn't. Okay. That's a whiz robe. Do whiz robes attack? This will actually be my first experience, I think. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> they aren't stupid. What the hell? I'm so surprised. Oh, my boomerang badly damaged. I can throw it. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, that was worth it. Oh, uh, what can I use? Sword just rod sword. Sure. Fire key swing. A rare fire key swing. There isn't enough fire keys attached to it to burn you. We just have a slight want to it. It can be used as an ingredient for elixirs. Cool. Damn it. Which roads were always really weird in this. I mean, they look really strange. Nope, crap. Nice. Oh yeah, the fire rod. Woohoo! Magical rod that can cast fireballs, crafted by an ancient magician. The rod will break if it strikes something directly, so use it wisely. Great. Yeah, maybe it's the, I don't know. It's very strange, though. Oh. I was not expecting to come across a uh, whiz robe. But I do like having the mask. It's very useful. Especially when it's nighttime. And you have, like, a bunch of Stealthos come out. Because they just, they pop out of the ground and basically just follow you around. They're very weird creatures. Oh god. I didn't realise I was going to have to climb this. And then again, <laughs> there again goes my bloody stamina. Oh man. Experiment more later tonight. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I don't mind if they do. Are they...? That is a car rock. Are there really two of them right next to one another? Yeah! Ah, yeah. oh, there's a sneaky river snail. I was waiting for it to be something that was going to try and run away from me. I saw another one. Oh, there it is. Actually, just caught out of the corner of my eye. That's a nightshade. That's... There we go. Yeah. So that's two more. What the hell? I don't know where I am at this point. I'm there. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, okay. My goodness. <laughs> I have no idea how I even got over this way. Right, well now I have a... An idea as to where the hell I am. Kind of. What I should do is just fast travel to somewhere and get that bloody Sheikah Tower. Then I'll actually know where I am. So at the moment it's just a bunch of um, assumption. 
Okay. So this is where I fought the whiz robe, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Can I actually... I mean, I'm actually closer to that, so... Screw it. Oh, I've got Magnesis selected. Just see whether or not there's anything in here. I mean, I'm highly doubting it, but you never know. I like to hide stuff literally everywhere. What is this? This is probably that hollowed out stump again. Yeah, it's the log. <laughs> but of course! Goat. Was that trying to charge at me? I think it may have been. Right, I can see the the tower. We should just say screw it and head towards it. Oh! And there's Alphos. Actually, do these? I can't remember if these attack out as well or not. I don't think they do. Oh, look at him using a spear. Oh no, they do attack. Or do they attack? I'm putting my shield up just in case. Give me a bit of a funny look, brother. <laughs> it's like he's trying to have a conversation. <laughs> oh, it's too good. So now I'm curious. They can actually detect you, but then they'll just walk over to you. Interesting. I'm wondering if the wizard robe was going to do the same. So it detected me. I wonder if it was just going to, like, waltz its way over to me and then just investigate. Oh, that's a sneaky river snail. I thought it was a bloody... A glow bug. Or firefly. That's why I slowed down. Alright. Uh, sneak strike. Yeah.